years ago, I went out surfing with my son. We were 500 meters out in the ocean and we were still swimming in trash. And when we got back to the beach, like you see, the trash was almost as a knee high. That following year, the government declares national emergency caused by garbage. That wake-up call in 2016 prompted Indonesian entrepreneur Ronald Achille to embark on an impromptu project to rejuvenate Bali. The first one was a commitment to go to zero waste to landfill because most of the waste in Bali just goes straight to landfill. Then we found out that over 50% of our waste was being dumped to landfill. That project became Potato Head, a hospitality and lifestyle brand which is active in Indonesia, Singapore and Hong Kong. Its Bali Hotel and Resort became the first carbon neutral hospitality company in the region to be certified by the United Nations. Just 3% of its waste goes into landfill while the remaining 97% is recycled or reused mostly within its premises for a wide array of structures and installations, products, and hotel amenities. We built relationship with amazing designers, architects, chefs, musicians. If you can grow something build something using more bioorganic materials, that will be a better option. It's part of a global rethink of how we construct buildings. Imagine you build a whole hospital. Aluminium, recycled polypropylene, re recycled polyethylene. This is a panel, all aluminium, with a honeycomb inside, with antibacterial coating, and then you click. Now, this section here is completely airtight so you can build negative pressure and positive pressure room. Using the industry's first interlocking systems that require no gluing, drilling, or hammering, innovative solutions and engineering breakthroughs are transforming trash into the world's first medical-grade hospital ward. And even earthquake and typhoon-resistant pavilions using one and a half million discarded plastic bottles. The use of local trash as the key material for building projects offers not only a cost reduction, but also self-reliance, a huge benefit in times of supply chain disruptions as today. If so, could recycled and upcycled materials be the next big disruptive force in real estate? Do you think the same discarded materials can be applied to, for example, 30-story skyscrapers and beyond. We have already made a 12-story with trash, 14 stories with trash, 4 stories with trash. Recently, we built a one whole floor of COVID center in Taipei, all made from trash. What is preventing the construction industry, the building industry, from adopting, embracing some of the discarded materials into their supply chain? all concrete, all steel, they're already reusing that. There's a huge percentage. Another thing is why construction is not adopting these, uh, what we call surface-based post-consumer waste. We are used to thinking of, take up new material. The biggest bottleneck is how do you change the mindset, especially of the owners and the investors. While it may take time for the stakeholders to fully embrace upcycling, the concept is far from new. The big aha moment for you came about 20 years ago. You saw that there was some Roman engineering know-how by using amphora, broken amphora, and they used trash as building material. For me, that's the eureka moment. And one of my favorite buildings is Pantheon. All that decorative tiles and the marble all mainly made from waste, which is amphora. And that has a compressive strength to hold up 2,000-year-old dome that we still admire as an engineering marble. This is what the current city, we should be learning from the ancients. Operational energy needs for powering, heating, and cooling make buildings responsible for nearly 40% of carbon emissions. Buildings also make up 50% of extracted materials. And for cities dotted with skyscrapers, buildings are responsible for a carbon emissions footprint of 60%. In the race to net zero by 2050, the building industry needs to have its carbon emissions by 2030. Smart building technology helps with decarbonization. 
Hey, Toby. Hey, look, uh, we've installed Eva um, as a building assistant powered by EYB. She'd be very happy to assist you. Hi, Mel. Hi, Eva. I can answer any questions. Eva looks real, but is a computer-generated avatar in development. What's the Wi-Fi password? The Wi-Fi Eva password can link up with the building password. sensors and systems and tackle a variety of tasks from lowering the temperature to sending out alerts should the air quality level drop, offering greater insights into the building's energy use and carbon footprint. Today, a building can tell me, hey, you're using up a lot of electricity as well. Do you want me to turn down uh, certain lights? And then they can give me the report. But as buildings get smarter amid efforts towards circularity, the transition towards net zero is likely to shake up commercial real estate, creating winners and losers in a multi-trillion dollar opportunity. It's a huge and unparalleled opportunity, not only in terms of building new construction. If 80% of the stock is going to be standing by 2050, then there is a huge opportunity to retrofit these legacy buildings. The biggest thing here is to develop an ecosystem of partnerships that can actually propel this target and make it achievable.